So Paige and Dan are coming together and they've made this amazing end table and there's more than just a little elbow grease, there's some science behind this. Yeah, yes. there's some chemistry grease. Really? Chemistry, chemistry, chemistry grease. grease. Yeah. Well, She's part. got the elbow grease, I've got the chemistry yeah. grease. Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> but we heard you needed a little bit of furniture. Yeah, I really do. I really do. Uh, I'm fairly new to LA, and my apartment is a little bit lacking, as you can see in this picture. Yeah. Uh, my dog, Winston, has nothing to shelter him, and I figured a couple of end tables. <laughs> is that really... a ceramic dog? Is yeah, I don't, dog? I, don't, I, don't, I don't really it's, do animals. He really has <laughs> the finest to <laughs> animals. Yeah. <laughs> What's his name? Shelton? Winston. 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 Okay. Winston. Ceramic dog. Yeah. All right. He's my guard dog. I love okay. it. Yeah. <laughs> well, there okay. you go. All right. Well, well, I think he's guarded you from having any end tables. <laughs> <laughs> he scared them all away. What did he? What did Dan tell you that he needed? That he? Well, might, I know he wants end tables, but what? Well, he, he needs a lot of furniture. Yeah. But today we're focusing that. on wow. end tables. Okay. You do. It starts. Um, but the cool thing that Dan, the science guy, kind of came up with is that you know typically when you go over to somebody's house, you get a coaster and you put. You want to make sure that your your cup is not you know. Mm -hmm. right. Dipping or whipping or doing anything to their tabletop. We are making a table that you actually invite your guests to spill, to put their hot drinks, their cold uh, drinks. Oh, I'll send Love my it. kids right over right. there. Yes. Right. yes. Why don't you just go? Because you're yeah, good at it. I'm good at it too. Well, they've learned from me. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, so how'd you come up with the design then? Well, we wanted something, knowing that we were going to use brass as the tabletop, mm. we wanted to come up with something that would fit Dan's apartment. I didn't see Winston there earlier. No, he, um, he just he, he moved in. But I think he will actually fit in between here. And I wanted oh, yeah, to go with definitely. something that was kind of industrial and more yeah, guy, great. you know, yeah, okay. has a little guy tinge to it. Okay. So we got started this morning. We'll show you how we did. <laughs> it was uh, Dan's first time in the workshop, I think. He Look didn't know that. what to do. Yeah, no, I'm so, good in the kitchen. I'm not good in the garage. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we took four by fours, and that is a flange, or the half inch flange for a galvanized uh, water pipe. And we're actually repurposing those to be our handles for down below. Now this we just screwed into place using um, 8 inch dividers there and then we have 10 inch screwing the top flange on and Dan was my lovely assistant. He was so great. Would you think you learned something? I make a great banner white. You do. Yeah. You really do. <laughs> and then we just put it into place. We put it on top of our 3 quarter inch base. That we just measured and make sure it was even on both sides. And really this construction is easy, easy, easy as far as end tables yeah. go. And from here, this is where Dan takes over and the science becomes very exciting. All okay. Right. So this is one of my favorite things. You know, a lot of times, uh, Paige was saying, we, we try to protect our furniture, right, from, from right. any spills or any marking. Mm -hmm. But something I love to, to think about when I'm having people over is that the furniture that I have in my household actually uh, maintains and retells the story of those nights gathered around a coffee table. I'm going to finish the please table. Do, please do. Yes. Please I'm get just adding these little things. So when we use a metal like brass, brass is what I would call a very expressive metal. It's an alloy, which means it's a combination of two very common elements. It's a combination of copper and zinc. Now, copper and zinc are both really expressive. They oxidize very easily. And oxidation patterns show up as tarnish, and they show up as a lot of color. So we've got that right here, actually, if you can see in this piece of metal. This is what oh, brass is going to look like. And you can do this with just simple household chemicals, and, and household chemicals being... So that hasn't been outside for weeks or months. No, this is just a couple of days. So what we're doing here is we're creating a table that people can come over, have a great night, have their dinner, have a couple of drinks, and leave them on your on your... Um, on your end table, the, yeah. and over over the period of years, what you do is you build up a patina. You build up a story with your table. And actually, should we should we yes. pull this yeah. one out? Yep. This is beautiful. So this is that's what we've got going on here. Now I'm going to do a quick wipe down. Now so, this is actually just regular kitchen salt, right? Table yeah, this salt? is table salt and, and vinegar. And vinegar. Is that vinegar? I can smell it. I know it smells good. Let's see as we wipe this away. This has just been sitting, this is just since the pre-tape. So we're, we're just doing a couple of hours. So if you want to accelerate the process, look at that. We're already getting some of these roses and pinks and you can see uh -huh. the rings where the cups were left. Um, now the great, so, so brass is a super ancient uh, alloy, right? We've right. been using it in cultures uh, since about the fifth century BC. Mm -hmm. You can find it in nearly every country from either uh, an artistic standpoint or a furniture building standpoint. And because you can see these are, he literally just set them down. Yeah. That's all just he did. Set these on. Yeah. yeah. So in order to get this, what, we're, what I did earlier, I just sprayed it down with vinegar and then I put down a layer of salt. What is the salt doing to it? So these are oxidizing, which means it's exposing 
the, it's exposing the chemicals to oxygen. And what happens here, so the difference between tarnish and rust, what we think about with rust is that it's uh, corrosive, that it's destroying metal. Yeah. And that's true, but actually tarnish, so the thing you see on your silver jewelry, right? right. Tarnish, we also think of as negative, it's not. Tarnish is a protective coating. Tarnish is what a metal does to protect itself from corrosion. So this is how we get these, these beautiful colors are actually protecting. So you could go back to original, the, the original can, brass we, if you uh, put the polish we, on it, or is you it permanent? Can, you can polish this down. It's, some of it's never going to go away. Okay. Um, but it's also protected. It won't, it's not going to rust further. It's not going to corrode or degrade because this tarnish, this coloration, actually protects the metal. And it's so cool. I mean, we were getting pinks and greens if you look there closely. Yeah, we've got and this some is only over on this edge. This is only after a couple of hours. So can you imagine yeah. after there all the is, parties yeah. Dan's going to have I know there's different Winston. types of salts. Would different types of salts work differently on this? A little bit, and also baking sodas and um, you know some red wine, some coffee. Really, the, these common household chemicals. We're looking at acids are going to get your most reaction, and bases will get some. There are not a lot of bases in the yeah. kitchen. Mm -hmm. So you could cut up. You fruit. can use lemon. Yeah. Yeah, Something you could have, put fruit on the table. Something I was telling right? Paige earlier. Yeah, we can okay. slice lemons just leave them out. We're I'll gonna invite you table. to head on over to our website. You can pick more information uh, there on this project. Go to visit Paige and Dan on their websites as well. We're gonna come back and Debbie and Matt are gonna talk about a little ALS. I'm gonna explain to you what ALS actually is. And I'm gonna explain to you why it's so important to me. And we're gonna take the ALS challenge, the ice bucket challenge in honor of my dad. You don't wanna miss it. And you guys are taking it too.